200 days of winter, two whole months where the sun never rises above the horizon, temperatures that can drop to minus 20 degrees Celsius. But still, Finland is the happiest country in the world. Each year, the UN releases a World Happiness Report showing which are the best countries to live in. The last two years has seen Finland come out on the top spot again, which is now its fifth year in the running. So in this video, we will learn why Finland and Nordic as a region is always rated one of the happiest and best places to live. But before that, you can make me happy by clicking the like button and showcasing your support for the channel. With that, let's start. Before we look at why Finland is the king of happiness, it's important to understand what the happiness report actually measures. The report is produced by a UN initiative called the Sustainable Development Solutions Network. They've managed to break down the topic of happiness that's both fundamentally subjective and hard to quantify. The report measures six categories to help account for the differences in life satisfaction around the world. These six categories are GDP per capita, healthy life expectancy, freedom to make life choices, social support, generosity, and absence of corruption. On average, richer countries are happier, and on average, richer people are happier. But once we get to a certain level of income, an additional $100 a month is not going to have an impact on how people feel about their lives. So with money, like with everything else, we see diminishing marginal return. And the report considers this principle across the six categories mentioned earlier. While Finland is the one that is highly rated, all Nordic countries appear in the top 10 every year. The only other country that has managed this feat is Switzerland. There are many reasons for this, so let's have a look at some of these which perhaps other countries can learn from. Finland has fought wage and equality gap with huge success. It has always been a priority for the country. One example of this is the baby box. Since 1938, every child born in Finland has been set up with items their parents will need for the first few months of the baby's life. This essentially is a cardboard box with 63 different items that doubles up as a baby's first crib filled with everything from thermometers to bibs and even condoms and lube to help new parents get back to their life. In 2017, Finland became the first country in Europe to pilot a universal basic income program, under which 2,000 unemployed citizens received a no-strings-attached monthly stipend from the government. Finland has completely removed student debt and offers free schooling. What's more astonishing is that they very rarely test their children through exams, and still their education system is ranked as one of the best in the world. University is also free, so not only does everyone get an equal footing getting through the school, but they're able to start their careers with almost zero debt. The country also provides version of universal and in some cases completely free healthcare coverage. Another interesting and unique fact is that Finland follows the flat working model. In Finnish companies, you won't find the usual corporate structures that you might be used to. Finland employs a flat working model in their business operations, which includes few or sometimes no hierarchical levels between management and staff. As a result, there's less supervision which promotes more involvement in decision making, open communication between teams and faster workflow. It is worth noting that Finland and Nordic countries in general are some of the highest tax countries. While the income tax is at par with any developed nation in the EU, there are higher taxes on consumption like eating in restaurants and buying jeans. But the thing is that the Nordic people are happy to pay those taxes because they get services in return. While Covid might have changed the happiness report, it is easy to predict that Finland would still be in the top 3 come 2023. It was one of the first country two years ago to propose and test the four-day working week in the interest of a better work-life balance and mental health. So do drop in a like if Finland is a country you would like to visit in the future. Also remember to like and subscribe for more interesting educational content. Thank you for watching.